the final installation step is to set up the physical space to set up the environment and for that we are going to be using the room setup utility uh, which is very similar to uh, Valve SteamVR's own room setup utility just uh, as a board application. So this is what it looks like. It has a dialog panel that guides you through the steps and we are going to go from left to right here. I'm going to first zoom out a little bit. Uh, this here just shows the current environment setup. It's pretty much uh, the default that comes packaged with voice. We have to delete that. Uh, and then here, you can see how it's tracking one of my controllers. Uh, and that one we are going to use to do the actual calibration. Uh, the left mouse control panel is the controller setting. That is where you define where the hotspot for your controller is. And uh, you want to make sure that you set controller type to from driver, in which case the hotspot position on the controller is going to be exactly here, the front end of that tracking donut right there. So that's the point that you use to touch and take measurements. Uh, so just make sure that it's set to from driver and that the probe tip is set to 000 in all three components. Then the next step is to define the floor plane and the center point of the environment. To do that, uh, we just put the controller on the floor with the trigger button facing down and then this point is going to be the center point of the environment. So I'm going to put the controller down approximately here, and then press any button. In this case, I'm going to use the trigger button. Press it once, and now we have a new center point for the environment. Now, uh, what you can also do, uh, if you have a, uh, an inclined floor, you can also measure additional floor points that go around, and then the system will fit a plane equation to all those floor points. But normally, you don't have that, uh, so you only want to, you want to assume that the floor is uh, horizontal. So then you just measure a single point. If you want to change the floor center position later, do not just put the controller down again and take another point. That will go into that plane calibration routine. Just press reset first, and then put the controller back onto the floor, into the center of the environment. Press the trigger button once, and select it. Okay. Then after we have set the center point, the next step is we want to set the forward direction. And the forward direction is the direction where you assume a user who just put on the headset is generally looking. And in this case, I'm going to set the forward direction to look into the TV that we have set up here, the secondary monitor. Uh, to actually set the forward direction, let's pick the controller up and imagine there's a laser ray coming out the front of the tracking donut like this. So you just point in the direction you want to use and press the trigger button again. There we go. And that sets the forward direction, you can see that if I move towards the TV, it's moving forward. If I move to the right, it moves to the right. So it's already properly aligned. Then the next step is to set your uh, wall boundaries to find the limits of your physical space. That's what uh, in uh, Steam VR link would be the chaperone boundaries. So this is the red polygon we have on the, on the screen here. That's just one that is already in there. So the first thing you want to do is reset. And then the procedure is very simple. Um, just in sequence, touch the controller to a bunch of corner points in your environment. So I'm going to touch the corner of the desk here. And then I usually have a chair in here, so I want to note, it, I want to note that down as well. Make a mark here, make a mark here and there. And then back here on the table. So you just walk around your space, you know the drill. One here, and then let's see if you go all the way over here. And then all the way over here. And then all the way over here here, and over here, and then there's another table here, and it goes to about here, and then there's a computer here that I want to not step into, so I make another point here, whoops, tracking to stop, you have to of course make sure that the controller is tracking, that you don't shadow it, I want to make another point here, and there we go. So that's the, uh, the boundary polygon, and that's pretty much the main part of setup, and then the last part of setup is to go to the Surface Polygons tab. And what I like to do here is I like to define a horizontal surface that shows up in the headset uh, so that I can know where to safely put down the controllers. So I'm going to measure just a rectangle on the desk here by pressing once and twice and three times and four times. And whoops, that didn't work because I'm shadowing again. OK, let's do it again. Once twice, three times, four times. That creates this green polygon now. And then in order to close it, the easiest way is to push the close surface button. Uh, and then it makes it a rectangle. You can define any number of these um, as you want. Um, but I usually just only use one. 
And that's it. And then the last step is to uh, click on the Save Layout button, in which case you're going to get a note that the room layout was saved to a particular configuration file. Just confirm that, and that's it. And then you can press Escape and get out of the program, and the room is set up, and that was it.